My name is uh, Nicholas Sanofsky. I am the head of the Mission Management and Ground Segment Department in Earth Observation and the European Space Agency. And um, I'm uh, working in ESRIN, which is our headquarters for Earth Observation in the European Space Agency. My main uh, role and responsibilities in the European Space Agency are to make sure that our Earth Observation satellites are operating, that they are doing what they are supposed to do that they are safe and sound in terms of the operations, but not only the satellites, but also the ground segments, which are supporting the operations of uh, the satellite, and in particular, the data flow. So we are receiving a huge amount of Earth observation data uh, from these satellites, and I'm responsible to make sure on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, actually, uh, that these data flows are in uninterrupted and that the dissemination to the, to the users uh, of this data is uh, working well. Um, we are disseminating each day um, hundreds of terabytes of data. So we are the largest Earth observation data distributor in the world. And um, that's um, determining also my daily routines in making sure that all elements uh, to in, in order to achieve that uh, task are, are in order and operating well. In addition, of course, we are thinking about uh, upgrading and uh, developing new technologies in order to uh, increase the capacity for this uh, uh, data download, for this dissemination of Earth observation data and the utilization of the data because we are realizing that the data by itself is not the key issue, it's really the information that uh, can be derived from this Earth observation data and uh, this is where, where our interests are uh, most strongly. In my session I've been outlining a little bit the big shifts in the paradigms of Earth observation over the last uh, few years actually. The uh, dynamics in Earth observation are accelerating and um, a, a number of new, completely new um, challenges and opportunities have arisen. One of the big changes that we are seeing is the number of users. Uh, in Earth observation the number of users now goes into the millions. Um, just to give you a feeling uh, for the Copernicus data access hubs that we are operating on behalf of the European Union, uh, we have uh, more than half a million registered users. And uh, this is a very, very uh, different scale and in that sense a different challenge to a few years ago. Um, and then the general proposition that it's much better to um, transfer the users to the data than the data to the user. So to generate environments in which the users find all these um, elements, the data, the, uh, the tools to generate value out of the data and many, many other things uh, in order to promote the uptake of Earth observation data is, is one of the key changes that we are seeing. Um, in terms of industry, industry is our key player in this. Um, we as ESA are not uh, uh, working with our own infrastructures and our own services. All the services that we are developing, that we are implementing, are done by industry. And we are relying on industry very much to, um, to foster the evolution of that ecosystem, which becomes ever more uh, large in capacity, but also in diversity. And uh, here industry is absolutely key. To say uh, one important aspect about the relevance of, of this uh, meeting here of Space Tech uh, Europe here uh, for industry, I think it's a unique uh, way of bringing relevant industry players together. Uh, just walking over uh, the, the last few minutes here has uh, generated a number of new contacts and uh, relevant industrial perspectives that I have uh, not yet uh, had previously. And um, I think especially at the interface between hardware, software and operational services, uh, this is a, is a very, very good setup to meet and to bring together relevant entities, in particular industrial entities that uh, can work well together and that uh, we from a European Space Agency perspective uh, desperately need uh, to, um, to really take up the challenges in terms of data management in Earth observation of the volumes um, and to take Earth observation into the domain of what we call predictive Earth observation um, in our digital twin Earth program. That's, that's, that's very important and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next few hours to be here.